good day guys welcome to try children academy my name is baron davis and i'll be taking you on the m and w pattern let's get straight into it but before we continue this video i'd like you to pause the video right here take a very close look at this risk disclaimer for forex traders and then understand read to understand and then once you're done and you know you understand you can play the video and continue so let's get straight into the juicy part of the course. So what does it mean? The M and W pattern is a forex strategy that uses specific chart patterns as base for low risk entries on trades with high probability of success. Specifically, we'll be looking at double tops and double bottoms. Like they look like the M or, or W patterns, or sorry, letters. Once such a pattern is identified, we take an entry at the nose of the letter. I'll be showing you an example of that soon. So let us look at the advantages of these patterns. The M and W pattern helps us identify major market reversals. This pattern helps us reduce risk in taking the trade. It is very easy to spot and it is simple. The one reason why we push simplicity here in Thrive Trading Academy is that there is too many things or there's too many rubbish being preached in the market today and it's not really how the market works. The market doesn't work because of you draw things on your charts. The market works because of price keeps going up and going down. If buy, the sell, if demand, the supply, it all works hand in hand. So I'd like you guys to follow me through this course and not confuse yourself. Please try as much as possible to forget every single thing you think you know in the Forex market and then learn this. Make this a foundation to your trading style. If you make this a foundation to your trading style, then you can now start adding any other confluence you think you know. For example, I just drew this line on my charts. This is something the Forex market does. With this looking as plain as this, you can plot entries every single place. But what happens when the market goes up from here? You don't know because you have been trading a trend. So as like we always hear in the Forex market, it's good to trade the trend, but I advise you, if you're not a scalper, don't trade the trend. Instead, wait to see when the market wants to form a new trend so you can catch the trend early and then enjoy the rest of the ride trailing your stop or using a fixed take profit depending on how you trade that's what i advise but it all boils down to you knowing what makes the market tick so let's continue now examples and entries this is what the M and W pattern will look like on your charts. Though it doesn't look this simple. These are just art illustrations, but I'll be showing them to you on a live chart soonest. Just pay close attention to the entries I plotted on each and every single one of the letters. The first letter here is called the simple M. The simple M is just something very simple and basic. It's very, very easy to spot. That is the beauty of it. It is very, very easy to spot. It forms two equal tops and it drops. So take for instance, the market goes up, comes down and goes back up and then drops. We can see on the red circled parts are clear entries. For a professional, he can take a trade or you can take a trade at this point here. The upper points, you can take a trade there, here. But as a beginner, I suggest you take a trade at the nose, it is better there because it is safer. Remember, we are trying to minimize and reduce risk. Now, this right here, this sharp edge is called the nose of the chart. The nose of the M, sorry, the nose of the M. That should be your entry as a beginner. You wait for it and you take your trade right there. The next one is the extended M. As we can see, it made a high, it made a low, and then it went straight up. The reason why it went straight up is obvious for, for obvious reasons because the market makers will always want to hunt for stop losses because 
the one thing I want you to take home from this before starting or getting into the deep juicy part of this is there is what they call the market makers. They are the one that provides liquidity in the forex market, which means when you hear five trillion dollars being traded in the forex market every day, the money they fall from the sky. Some people somewhere are providing this liquidity, and they need to make some profit on their money. So don't think because you have lens forex, you're going to just make it easy in life. No, you need to do the homework because those guys are trading with huge computers. They are 50 times more than you can ever be in the market. So they control whatever is going on in the market, making every single thing you have seen in the market now almost close to being useless if you don't understand how they deal. So if you understand how they deal, then you can use this setup to your advantage. Now know that this extended M is actually hunting for stop losses. And then once they have gathered enough liquidity, they pull the market the other way. The reason why we say the beginners should plot their entry at the nose, which is right here, is because of the nose helps you filter drawdowns. Once you take an entry at the nose, you can enjoy the rest of the ride. Same applies to the shorts formed M, which means the market makers or the market moved up, a, a fast push up then back down. It went up, but it didn't retest the previous high and then it dropped fast. Knowing this and seeing what has formed right in front of you, you just take an entry there. Same thing applies to the W, the simple W, short sum W and extended W. Just know that the extended means extended stop hunt. We call them stop hunt or we call it stop hunt because basically there are lots of stop losses above the lowest low or the previous low. And then that particular move right there is going to go and say hi to those stop loss and get them for the market makers. Because of one thing people don't know in the Forex market is the market makers. They hear about them, but they don't know how they deal. You don't understand that your take profit is the market maker's stop loss. And your stop loss is the market maker's take profit. So the same way you have plotted your chart to get to your take profit, they have also plotted their, should I say, their psychological um, manipulations to get to your stop loss. So they have to make the market as enticing as they can make it to give you that hope that yes, it's going to go in my favor and then you take a trade. Okay, let me give you an illustration. They allow you that you see this and then you use your fee or anything you see, okay, there's a potential rise, let me take a buy, you take a buy and you're going up and then they see you going up. They know you're going up because they can see where all your stop losses are. What did they do? They would just, put you, let's, let's take for instance, you put your stop loss here which you can enter for a buy here and you're going long and then they activate your contract with a very long candle giving you hope and then before you know it they shatter your hope with this next huge red candle so this is how they deal they hunt for the stop loss let's proceed so just know that the market makers are real the forex market does not move itself. If it does, you won't see anything, not even a peep to trade because it will be so tight and so fixed, it will nearly not move. But with them in the market, we can see some moves and we can catch some peeps. Now, these are real life examples of the M and the B pattern. Note this, that the M patterns mark, or the M pattern mark the reversal of an uptrend while the W pattern marks the reversal of a downtrend. So the market comes down, hits the lowest low, form a double bottom or a W-like shape, and then rallies back up and it does the same thing when it gets to the high of the day or when it gets to the highest high. Now, this is an example, or these are examples from different charts. This one right here is Euro AUD 30 minute charts. We can see how the market tumbled down three, times one to three and then it got to this point it's made a short formed m and we can see the quick push up let's say you missed this one right here you can see the market came up here and it delayed because it wants to continue going down but it had to make a quick correction that you could have traded if you have vigilance and then it came up here it formed 
a simple M because you can see that the market is maintaining equal highs. Sorry, that line wasn't good enough. Equal highs right there. It's maintaining equal highs. Then you take a trade here and then you drop the market, taking a short. So this is a simple formed M. Now we can see right here, this is a short formed M because we can see this high is on the higher side than this one. So if you form the short formed M, note that our entry will plot our entry at the nose of the shape, at the nose of the shape. Now we see all these things forming right in front of us. These are taken from charts everywhere. You can pause the video and take a very close look at these examples before we proceed. But just know that the M formation marks or the M pattern marks the reversal of an uptrend while the W marks that of a downtrend. Let's go into more examples and show you guys how to make real money trading this strategy. Because we've been getting a lot of questions about um, people asking us, uh, we, we have seen a lot of testimonies about your strategy, how will I trade it? It's simple. Rule number one, patience and discipline. Look, in the Forex markets, you can, you, you can make very easy money, very quick money. But like my colleague will always say, he says, the Forex market is the easiest way, or sorry, the hardest way to make the easiest money. So we get the whole point that says lots of people are successful trading the Forex markets. Yeah, lots are successful, but they are just 2% of the success. We have 98% of failures in the markets, but you never get to see them because they are not celebrated like the successful ones are. So if 2% of the people trading the Forex market is successful and 98%, it's a very, 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 very weird ratio because we have more losers than winners and we see more winners than losers. So it's the, the Forex market is a show business. So you have to understand that they have to entice you, make you want to put your money on the line and once you come and you are not patient or disciplined, they take the money from you. That's why rule number one is patience and discipline. Identify and allow the patterns to completely form and never risk more than 2% of your accounts per trade. Now, the patience part come in by you waiting. Patience has to do with waiting. You need to wait to see the patterns completely form. Don't assume. You don't trade what you know in the Forex market. You trade what you see. If you know it's going to form a W and you think it's going to form a W, that's all in your mind. You don't have to put that on the charts until the market does that and you can obviously see the patterns then you can trade it that's where patience comes in and then discipline comes in to help you understand how to curtail and control your risk because we know as much as the forex markets can be obedient to this pattern it can also go against it there is nothing a hundred percent in the forex markets but if somebody offers you an 80 percent accuracy it is a very good number, and this particular pattern offers an 80% accuracy. So I don't know why many traders like to leverage and over leverage on their trade on a strategy that they don't even know well how to practice. We need to learn to be patient and disciplined. That's the first rule of trading, patience and discipline. I'll be explaining more on this. So now, Many people ask me this question. They say, Baron, how do I be patient? How do I be disciplined? What's the best lot size to use? I'm a newbie in the Forex markets. I don't know what to do. Just pay close attention. We developed this lot size guide to help our members understand what it means not to risk more than 2% per trade. You need to understand that lot size, which are these ones right here, 0.1, 0.2, 0.3 upward, they are very, very, very good and can work in your favor because you can use very really small amounts to make a whole lot of money. But understanding how to use them to your advantage is the major goal here. So now, your take profit should be above 50 pips. Anything below 50 pips, I'm sorry, you are a scalper. And scalpers have a different rule entirely. But if you want to make it well in the Forex markets, you need to understand 
how to catch 100 pips, then you can choose to take 20. Don't take 20 when the market can offer you 100. Reason why is if you take 20 in a market that offers 100 without understanding how the market came about 100, it's giving out. One day you come to the market and the market will take 100 from you because you don't understand how the market works. Now, let's take a close look at the pricing and how it's being grouped. A $200 account shouldn't trade more than 0 0.01. And his stop loss or your stop loss should not be more than 50 pips. If you want to leverage higher, then you have to pull your stop loss closer. But I did not explain that much of it on this particular table because it's not needed. What you need to know is a 50 pip stop loss is a very realistic stop loss to use. Let's take, for instance, use 50 pip stop loss, 50 pip take profit. That's a one to one win ratio. It is okay to use that, but don't do something like 50 pips stop loss, 10 pips take profit. It is not realistic. That means it will take you five trades to recover from one loss, which is not actually realistic. So following this 2% rule, we actually help you succeed in the Forex market. Now, let me show you how much patience pays when you wait. I know majority of you are not full-time forex traders you are just newbies you're learning the trade you're learning the craft look you just need to understand that as much as i would like to get deep down into the part that gives you the money i need to help you control the mindset of trading the forex market because it's all a mind game so i'm going to show you what they call the doubling game this is it right here the doubling game the the reason why majority of us tend to over leverage or kind of mismanage our account is because we don't see the long goal. I'm a Nigerian and I know what $200 means to me. I know there are people who don't end up that amount in two months. So if I'm putting that amount on the line, I know I can, I can afford to lose it, but I don't want to lose it because nobody invests into a losing business. We all invest to win right so having this at the back of your mind you need to understand that capital preservation is key capital preservation is key following this step by step by step you only get to lose two percent of your trade that means it will take 50 trades to get you out of the market but sometimes it takes just one so imagine you having 50 or let's say 10 good trades and one bad trade. Your 10 good trade did not make you a millionaire, but your one bad trade took you back to where you started from. In fact, it took you behind because you are now $200 poorer, depending on how much you use or you're using. So we need to understand that capital preservation is key. See, the last man standing wins the game. The market makers, the market will always remain standing. Just know that it never goes anywhere. So you just need to hold on long enough till you retire. You understand? So let's go back to the slide where I explained to you how the, how the fruit of patience is being enjoyed. This is how it's been enjoyed. I advise my Nigerian people, start with $200 deposit. In fact, I'll, this is my advice to every trader out there that hasn't joined the 2% people making the money in the market yet. Start with a $200 deposit. Don't bother about how much you make. Instead, understand that you need to have what they call consistency. You need to be successful trading the forex market. Then you start making money. So the example here is simple. Having a $200 deposit it will only take you 50 good trades to make 100% profit. 50. Yes, I know it sounds like a lot of numbers, but trading the forex market, nah, it's not really that much because if you trade the currencies, you can see lots of currencies. Lots. We have more than 200 currencies. So on a very slow day, let's say you trade four different currencies and you just took one, one trades in them. That's four in one day. And you have a whole week and you have a whole month. 
So the target is just to make 100% of your account in one month. But it doesn't mean you can make more than this, but just know keeping your targets very realistic is the best way to grow. And having a small fund like $200 help you, it gives you clarity on how to grow. Because some people have large funds and they'd be like, nah, 100% is too much because I have big fund and I want to preserve this fund. So they instead they go for 20% and they're okay. But for beginners or for people who don't have huge funds, $200 is a very good place to start. Now, if you can see below, the projection is actually monthly. Imagine being almost in Nigeria here with $6,400. You have almost 1 point something million, if not two. It is good money. People don't end that in a year. But trading the Forex market, starting with $200 and understanding how the market works gives you $6,400 in six months. That makes this business one of the most lucrative in the world. But you need to understand patience. Patience to grow from 200 to 400 and from 400 to 800 from 800 to 1,600 to 3,200 and 6,400 and so on and so forth. Because in one year time, you will be ending the year with huge money. So right now, I think we're in September, we're in the month of September in 2019, I will encourage you guys to actually start this particular plan from now till next year. Just pick a day. Or you can just say, okay, you know what? I want to learn this strategy throughout this year. And come January, I want to start this projection. I'll fund $200 and I will trade with proper money management. You don't increase your lot size until your account has gotten to this level. I know why I'm banging on this because I can teach you all the strategy in the world, but this is why many still remain a failure. Many have what I call the golden strategy. They can make lots of money. Imagine somebody having something that works nine out of 10 times it works, but it just fails you once and you don't have an account. It is very unrealistic for me. Don't increase your lot size until your money has exceeded $500 or you have closed all trades and you have no running trades at $500. Yes, some of you will say Baron is too strict. Of course, you have to be strict because you're putting your money on the line. So as for me, I have to be strict. I don't know about you, but this is how strict I can be until you understand what you're doing and you understand how to make your stop loss tighter, then you can make more profits. Let's proceed to the good stuff. Now, rule number two is candlesticks confirmation. There are many type of candlesticks formations, but we would focus on only three. First of them is the railroad track. It just looks like two consecutive candles, almost equal. Sometimes they are equal, sometimes they are not, but you just see them standing out. They can act as a confluence, but note, candlestick confirmations or candlestick formations can be used on their own. They don't need the um, M and W patterns. They don't need anything on their own. They are a very good confluence to take a trade. But now, remember, we are trying to reduce risk and minimize risk. So the best way to minimize risk is to have many confluences, many things to look at. For example, you want to cross a road, a two-way road. You know, if you get there, you can't just cross by looking only at the left. You need to cross by looking at the left the right and look at the left again. Why do you have to look at the left again? Just to be sure, just to be safe. Because it can be very, very surprising. That's life. So we need to understand living in life alone, living in this life alone, we need to minimize risk every single day. We need to minimize risk. So this is just a plus confluence to the M and W pattern that will help us understand how to minimize the risk down to almost zero, and then we take a trade. So we also have the cord of woods. Looks like the railroad track, but this has up to like four to five consecutive equal candles. 
that they look like woods or they look like something like a forest, something like that, but they just look very easy to spot on your charts. And then the last one, we have the star formations, which consist of the morning star, the morning star, I'm oh, sorry, the evening star, which is this one right here, the evening star. The evening star forms at the high of the day and the morning star forms at the low of the day. Because we know when the day is about to rise up, the day rises up, it doesn't go down until evening when it goes down. In the morning, we rising up, in the evening, we going down. That's the whole concept, so you don't mix them up. Okay, so now this is actually GBP and um, Canadian dollar, which is pounds and Canadian dollar. So now we can see the short formed M formation forming right here, and we can obviously see the railroad track forming right here. There's a railroad track right there, but you know, we don't take a trade at that point. Our entry should be somewhere around the nose, which is this point. So we'll take an entry here. And before we took that entry, we can see something else right here, a cut of wood pattern confirming the drop and we'll take a trade, a sell. If you take a sell here, you're making good money. So this is just an example of what we're talking about. So let's proceed to the next slide. This is actually gold on a 15 minutes time frame. You can see obviously, like I said, the railroad track doesn't always completely form, but it's always stand out. So we see it there easy. This is actually an extended M. So now let me give you an example. So many people will tell you uh, support and resistance. If you put your resistance line somewhere here, it won't break it. You put your stop loss somewhere below the resistance line and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Let's see, put a stop loss right here. We have had this experience. 60% of Forex traders have had their stop loss triggered with just a small candle, just a weak candle, trigger their stop loss and market reverses the opposite direction, which is actually supposed to be in their favor if they had understood how to wait. Now we can see a normal retail trader will take a sale here, or sorry, a buy here, take a buy and put a stop loss somewhere down here, thinking, yeah, it's not going to break it, it's going to continue going up and then, you can see how they induce people right here. They induced more people to put, take a trade, put their stop loss, put right tight stop loss, not understanding that taking the trade on the second leg of the W can be very risky because you don't know what the market is going to do. It can decide to keep going down because before the market came down to this point, it almost formed the W right here, but it didn't. So, but right here, it did. It extended, we can see that the weight. We see the railroad track form. We still wait until the market crosses to the point where we take a trade, which is right here. The nose of the W. We'll take a trade there and then we have all this to ourselves. So imagine you catching this every single day. This is the 15 minutes time frame on gold. We'll be jumping into the live chat to see more examples soon next. But for now, just think about this and Pause the video, go to your charts, do some markups, and then come back to the video. Let's proceed. So the whole concept is just about making money. That's why making money is my final rule. Until you understand how to make your positions, how to control your emotions, how to place your trade, you don't get to the last level. You need to understand what level one and level two says before it gets to level three, which is the best and the most sweetest part. So I have to save the best for last. Because trading and making money is the major goal of correct trading. Trade and make money. But the first thing to determine is your entry. We should be at the nose of a W or an M. Sorry. Um, or the M. Stop loss is the next thing to determine, your stop loss. How many pips should I put my stop loss? If I put it right above the high of the day or above the highest high, will it trigger? How many pips are we? We need to calculate all that to be able to know if our trade falls into just risking 2% of our account. 
which if you're following the guide I showed you earlier, you only need to calculate 50 pips from your entry. And then that will be a perfect point to place your stop loss, knowing that even though it triggers, it's going to be just 2%. But understand this, you have to make sure that your stop loss is way above the highest high, way above the highest high or the lowest low. Reason being, the market can choose to make a very weak or long weak candle to that place, trying to trigger more stops. And if yours is there, I'm sorry, take you out. And then by the time you are done determining how many or how much you are willing to lose, where you want to enter and everything, you then determine your take profit, which is the last one you do. Because before you calculate how much you want to take from them, first of all, determine how much you want them to take from you. It's simple. Because they can take this from you. Let's say you put $5 here. They can take it from you and you're looking to make $7. You don't have this yet, you have this. They want this and they have to look for a way to get this from you and they get it by you being careless. If you're careless, they get this. But if you're very careful, 80% of the time you get this. And then if they get you 20% of the time, which would remain 20, you still have 60% to enjoy. So it's a win-win for me, understanding where to plot your stop loss, then your take profit. So you can have a very good um, reward ratio or risk reward ratio. So then now let's see some life examples. Let's see how this thing looks like on a chart. So this is the basic or the market cycle. My colleague or in under of our video, Lawrence will touch deep on understanding the market cycle. The Asian consolidation, the high, the low, the reversal. See, everything deals with time. Banks, they open with time. Once it is eight o'clock, the banks are open. Trades are running. So we need to understand that if we spend all day sleeping and waking up whenever we like, we would never, or sorry, you will never be a good trader if you oversleep. Forex trading is not for those who love sleep. It is for those who want to make money and are punctual. I'm not saying do not sleep. I'm saying do not just do it too much. You go to bed early, you wake up early, you freshen up by eight o'clock Nigerian time. London session is open. So we see the Asian consolidation, and then we see a trap move up and then drops down around 8.30. We see this very good looking W forming. Market goes up, it gets to New York time around two o'clock Nigerian time. It reverses back down and goes back into consolidation. Lawrence will touch deep on this in another video of ours. So if you haven't seen the video, be patient or you just check our YouTube channel, it should be there somewhere. Now, this is the W pattern on live charts. This is actually a screenshot. I'll be taking you guys to my charts in a few minutes, but let's just see this. We can see at this point, it formed a very good looking W. And on the first leg of the W, we can see a cord of wood formation forming right here and then it goes up forming a short formed W. That's actually very short formed. Something like this, we can see it short formed before going back up. Sorry, I didn't draw that well. Let me do that again. You can see it, then it went back up. So with this in mind, we now know. Okay, entry here, the nose. So at this pullback, you take your buy and you have all this to yourself, all this to yourself. So you see, let's say you put your stop loss here. It won't trigger and you win all this. If you're good at using trailing stop, you can use a trailing stop. If you're not good at using trailing stop, don't bother yourself. That's what they call take profits. You put it somewhere up there, put it 50 pips above, depending on how much the markets or the, how much liquidity is in the market at that point in time. If the market can offer you up to 50 pips, sure, you take it. But now let's see, let's look here. We can see something else. We call this the multi-section W because it formed 
the previous day and then a new day and you can see a w and you can see you respected the w you taking an entry here have all this to yourself now note these two things formed in the open of the london section because right here is the asian consolidation asian consolidation this is the london section and then all this formed. okay let me make it let me make my chart a little bit clean so you can see properly right here is the asian consolidation because this little dot this line this dotted line right here identifies one day like the box is just a day from here from this line to the other line is one day so this is the end of one day and the beginning of another day and this is the asian consolidation till the london section opens and as it opened boom immediately the market moved same thing happened a day before same thing happened a day before or two days before let's see that you can see right here you can see right here an extended multi-section w it responded and the market only reversed in the new york section new york section new york section sometimes it keeps going up but sometimes it doesn't so no one to quit is the best way to leave we know we have we, we, let's say you got a trade here and it's going up all the way it's best to cut your profit if you haven't hit the profit yet and it goes to new york section i advise you cut it off make that profit and then keep that one even the more potential trades you don't trade every day you don't get glued to your screen forex to help you attain financial freedom not put you in a worse prison than you were when you were still working the 95 job. You need to understand that trading the forex market deals with time. If you just trade only the London section, after the London section, go cash fund, forget about New York. If you only trade New York, you know all this thing varies by pair. Some pairs don't move during the London section. Some pairs don't move during the New York section. Some pairs move best during the Asian section but it doesn't still stop the market cycle markets will always make a low of the day and then high of the day and then go back into consolidation low of the day high of the day consolidation low of the day high of the day consolidation that's just the cycle it goes up it goes down consolidation so you just pick one where do you want to tackle the market from the earlier part of the day or the later part of the day once you have that in mind and you know where you want to start your day from, then you can proceed. Let's see more chart examples so we we'll proceed to seeing our real charts. This is another um, picture I took of GBP USD. We can see the M formation forming right here and market responding to the drop. A railroad track formed up here. You can see that is actually looking pretty simple to me. This is a short formed M because the highest high wasn't retested it almost got retested but it wasn't then the market dropped then right here we can see the w reversal this is another day this is a new day a brand new day and we can see the reversal back up and then in consolidation so this is the low of the day and the high of the day if you don't understand what i mean by low of the day and high of the day i suggest you just pause the video and go watch that of Lawrence's because he explained the low of the day and high of the day in depthly. Let's proceed. Now, the um, this is gold one hour charts. The M and W patterns apply on every single time frame, depending on the time you love to trade or the time frame you love to trade with. Some say they love to trade on the four hours, some say it's on the daily, some trade the weekly. Some trade 15 minutes, some trade five, some trade one. So depending on the one you love to trade, whenever you see a W forming at the low, the market wants to reverse. Same thing applies for the M. But let's proceed. We can see the place I marked out boxes. We can see the M, the W forming, W forming. Let's proceed. We can see right here, go open with a gap and then w formed it closed up the gap now just imagine you seeing this and you waiting plotting your entry waiting for when to strike like a cobra just waiting 
and then boom, you saw the space you strike because right here is all about being accurate. You have to be very accurate. We know we're not perfect, we're human, but you just have this at the back of your mind. If you're accurate just 80% of the time after practicing constantly, it means you go home with 60% profit after minusing the 20% loss from your 80%. Are you following? We can see here a railroad track forming. We can see it's also forming a W, short form, but almost simple, but I don't care what it forms. All I care is I can see the pattern forming and I can plot my entry at the nodes. It's the most important part. So let's not kill ourselves trying to say, oh no, it's extended, this short form. I don't care how we formed. I only care that I can see my nose, I can see the pattern and I can take a trade. Now, many of you will be asking, Baron, why can't we take other days? You'll see there are many ways to die. In fact, there's a program called 1000 Ways to Die. You can choose to die anyhow. But I tell you, pick your best poison. You can choose to trade what you don't understand. This thing, these are very, very good trades. Lots of people caught this trade. But understand one thing. You need to know your time frame. You need to understand your time frame. You can catch a long time trade in a short term time frame. The lower you go on your time frames, the lower your targets will be, because it's only showing you what is happening within that time frame. So when you go to the four hours, you're seeing the whole week. When you're going to the daily, you're seeing the whole month. When you're going to the weekly, you're seeing almost two years. When you're going to the monthly, you're seeing almost five years, just on one glance. More than five years, what am I saying? You can see, up to 20 years just looking at the charts if you zoom out well enough you'll see it so it depends on the time frame you're trading in if you want quick profits go lower if you want big profits go higher sometimes even at this point this is the one hour chart though you can see up here is the one hour chart even at this point that almost formed a w on the one hour chart, it looks very impactful but i can guarantee you if we drop this down to the 15 minutes we will see the w clearly forming and contact a trade but just know that every single thing in the forex market has to do with timing. This is another example. This is gold before the massive rise in May. This is in May 2019. You can go look it up in your charts. The one hour chart, scroll it back down to May. You will see this good looking W. Truthfully, since gold formed this W, it has never retested that place ever since. By the time I'm making this video, this is actually September and it hasn't gone back to that low. So let's proceed. This is just showing you that the M and W pattern works. It is not rocket science. Some call it double bottom and double top. Some call it different kind of name, but I tell you, just call it M and W. It helps you understand. If you don't, if you still doubt in this pattern, I don't know what you're waiting for. I really don't, because all our members are making profit trading these patterns. So before I come to this particular slide that says remember this, let me take you guys to the chart itself to understand what actually happens in the forex market. So we can see it is not rocket science. I'm going to show you something happening as early as yesterday and today. Okay, guys, so here, welcome to my chat. Looking as simple as possible. This is actually a demo account. So, looking as simple as possible. You can choose to put things on your chart. You can choose not to put things on your chart. As we can see, it's actually moving. So, it is not a screenshot, it's the real Forex chart. Now, these are different pairs. I've done my analysis on some and some I haven't, but let's look at, let's start from the gold pair as of a day before, because we can see by the time I'm making this video, the market was already in the Asian consolidation because that's the only time I get to, or let's say I get some time off. So I want to just see and clearly indicate and identify where the market is moving to. Now, 
let's take a count of how many trades we could have won. The one thing we should know about the Forex market is there is always going to be news. So this huge drop we see right here is the FOMC speech that actually took place a day before and then gave the market this much impact. It is huge volatility measuring up to 250 pips. It's a gold pair. It's obviously volatile. Using the 15 minutes time frame, we can see the day started, started slow. A little bit slow, not knowing what we're going to do. Slow, 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 and then boom, we can see an impact. Knowing the M and W pattern, we would have been anticipating this W or an M somewhere, somehow. And luckily for us, we have a very good looking W. Plotting our entry here, we get to benefit all this. It looks small, but let me calculate the pips for you. Have it in mind, it's a very volatile pair. It's gold. This right here is 75 pips. Okay, let me get that for the highest high. It is 78 pips. It is huge. With a stop loss of about 50 pips, we can see that weak, wicked long candle. This is very wicked candle, but it would have stopped sort out because lots of people keep their stop losses below the Asian range or above. So what it does did was using that long week candle to stop as many people as they can stop out. And breakout traders will think he wants to go the other way and they quickly place a sell as at that point, which is at this point, and then to surprise them. Now having the stop loss 50 pips below and targeting 60 pips above or 70 pips, you can see it gave it to us easily. Please don't over target. Understand that in the New York section, there's a very high tendency that the markets will reverse. So don't over expect. Instead, plan for little and then grow your little. Don't even look to end more than little. So we can see this is actually gold a day before. Let me go to the next slide. This is uh, this should be G card. It is Great Britain and pound. Sorry, Great Great Britain and um, Canadian dollar. I didn't even clean the signs I made on gold, and it's actually rhyming with the Great Britain. But let me clear the whole drawings, and we can see. Personally, I'm a big fan of the EMAs, mostly the 200 and the 800. They are more like my best friends. They just make it look. They help me identify the trend very easily, and we can see how the market dropped using the. 200 EMA as a very good support and then formed a W and then went up. So it's an amazing experience trading what you know and what you see because what you know might be telling you is going to drop, is going to drop. It has done the upper thing, is going to drop. It has broken the Asian low, is going to drop. That's what you know. But what you see might be saying otherwise. What you see can be saying totally different thing. What you know can be saying, of course, here is a strong, let me draw a line. It's a strong resistant line and is to destiny. it. I'm, I don't think it's, it will go back up. It's going to drop. It has broken it, it's going to drop. Of course, it's good to argue that's going to drop, but that's not what you can see. What you can see is, let's say I've taken a cell here, thinking it's gonna drop and then it gets to this point and you can see this W is right there in your face asking you, can't you see me? And then saying, no, it's going to drop. Of course, market doesn't wait for anybody. Before you know what's going on, the market will react to the pattern it has drawn. It will go up because you refuse to change. You refuse to understand, you refuse to recalculate. But a smart trader, has taken right here, has taken a buy, and we enjoy the rise by calculating his stop loss and his take profits and the volatility in the G card pair. He would know where to plot his take profit and his stop loss to assure him of very good win ratio. Now, this is a day before or two days before. Let's see how it's did. 
I can see a very good looking W right here again, and the market responded to that. So now let's take one more step back. This is the Euro AUD pair. Let me, sorry for that. Let me clear all drawings. This is the Euro AUD pair. We can see there's nothing much on this pair. Let's check lower time frames. Yeah, obviously right here, we can see a multi-section W. Now, Euro AUD, we all know AUD trends. It does trend like crazy in the Asian section. This is just, this is very late right here in Nigeria. As at this time I'm making this video, this is the Asian section and we can see how the AUD reacted. But what was it reacting to? Was that thing that's making this AUD push this high? Obviously, it's an obvious fact. Note some people went to bed taking a cell because they can see a strong resistance line or a strong zone. But the market makers have a different idea. They see the money is above here, lots of stop losses, they go for it. So now look, but before we can see all these things, we can first of all see this easy money, multi section W, short formed multi section, looks good. Market closed open, they plot my entry here, even though I know probably I should have been asleep as at this point, but it's a good trade still for those who caught the trade. So there are lots of other examples, lots, a whole lots of other examples. Let's see, let's take it down to two minutes time frame and then see what we can pick up. Let's see, let's see. Okay, right here we can see Asian consolidation. Market did a stop hunts. The M, it dropped, the W, it reversed, consolidation, and so on and so forth. You can see the W pattern right here again, right here right here and then you reacted there are lots of and lots and lots and lots that i would love to share so but i can't share them all if you're still doubting what i'm saying just go to our channel on telegram carefully skim through everything you see in there go to the channel not the group you see every single market cycle being drawn out and placed at your disposal so we can obviously see a w that responded but not as creative as we want it to be that's why i always suggest moving your stop loss to break even as soon as market moves 20 pips in your favor because it's better that way it saves risk it, it minimizes everything so in case it just topples down like this one did you won't lose anything but if you continue going up you're making money so let's see another chart this is Great Britain and New Zealand dollar. We can see the W forming right here and it reacted as at the nose line here, it reacted because it went back up. And right here we can see a multi-section W and it's reacting by going up. It is very creative seeing all these things form right in our faces. Sorry, let me play that. It's form right in our faces, but we, tend, we, we don't tend to take advantage of them. This is another one right here forming right in front of us. So for all the beginners in our midst, it is not rocket science. It is just simple, simple trading price action, understanding what price is saying and then taking full advantage of it. Taking full advantage of the trade is the goal. So let's go back to the slide. guys remember this remember this you can see the m and w pattern on all time frames before entering be, before entering look at the following be patient and let the pattern form don't force it it is better to be outside a trade waiting or dying to get in than to be inside a trade dying to get out because being outside has cost you nothing but being in there not only are you fighting for your dear life you're fighting to save your money from being blown or lost so let's understand and be patient let's see and make sure we have a very clean pattern 
you don't just trade rubbish. You don't trade something like this. Nah, you don't trade this. You don't trade that. No. You trade something as simple as this. Nose line entry, not this. So you look for the sharpness of the nose. Like I just illustrated on my very funny looking drawing. This is the nose. That's what we take our entry. It needs to be sharp, not this. It needs to be sharp and good looking. So let's also understand this. Risk management is the only way to be successful as a forex trader. Note, it is the only way to be a successful forex trader. Because in the forex market, you win some and you lose some. But what makes you a real winner is how you control and minimize your losses. You know, you can know all the patterns in the world. You can be the encyclopedia of forex markets. You can be the one even the gods run to, to come and understand what happens on the charts. But if you don't understand how to use risk and money management to your favor, you will never, I repeat, never be a successful trader. Imagine gathering a million dollars in one month and then losing it in one day. Does it make any sense? So learn to leverage less, learn to use risk and money management. Thank you for your time. Once again, I'm Baron Davis. Don't forget to join the conversation on Telegram because truly, you can't learn everything all on one video. There will be lots of juicy stuff coming up soon and we'll be sure to keep you guys updated, but you need to follow us on Telegram so you can be updated and also drop your chat analysis and your, air your views on the Forex market. What do you think the market will do? I don't know. I would like to hear what you think on the Telegram channel and on the group. So just join up and we'll be there waiting for you. Thank you very much for your time.